I want to leave this thought with you today. We want to change the atmosphere of your life. And as you prepare for your weekend, we want God to bless you in an abundant way. Now, we realize that people listen to these whenever they get around to it. That's fine. But we want to leave a very powerful thought with you. Whether you listen to it early in the morning, like when we do, like when we want you to be able to actually see these segments when you first get up in the morning, so that way you can start your day off in the supernatural power of God. But whenever you listen to it, it's, it's relevant, quality over quantity. Remember, the anointing of God is timeless. We've seen God, I mean, bless people and heal people off the recording, so we're fine. But we, but again, it's not in the multitude of what we say, but it's in the quality of what we say and do in the presence of God. Oh my God, and we want to feel the presence of God too. We want to be a partaker in everything that God is doing in this time right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, hallelujah. We don't want any distractions. <laughs> As we go to the very first chapter in Genesis, I want to point some things out to you relatively, um, I mean, striking. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We see that the world was formed, that the God had created the heavens and earth. Watch this. I'm going to go to verse number seven. God made the firmament, the firmament, and divided the waters, which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Watch where I'm going. It was so. Let's go to verse number nine. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. That's powerful. Verse 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. This is powerful. Let's go to verse number 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the land from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Hallelujah. That was verse number 15. Hallelujah. Think about all the things that God did. And I'm just skimming through the first the first chapter of Genesis. This is all and all of this stuff that God did was good. Then after he goes through all the, all of this, then we go to verse number 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. That's powerful. Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful. This is a decreed fact from heaven. And multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you Every herb of every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in in which the, is the fruit of the, of the tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb 
for meat. And it was so. Oh my God. Now think about all those and it was so's. And God created us in his image. That's powerful. Now we understand, fast forward, what Adam did to give it away, but Jesus came to restore what Adam had given away. It is so right now for you. We want you to be able to understand the kingdom authority, the God ordained authority that had originally been given to Adam. We want you to be able to walk. And that's your thought for, for this hour. Oh my God. And this is why we praise God and worship God the way we do. And this is why we declare things on these segments. Whenever we do stuff, we declare things based upon the authority that we know by inheritance that God has given us. And we want to bless those of you that trend that are going to be transitioning. Oh my God. We touch and agree right now in the matchless, powerful name of Jesus for heaven on earth. And it is so. It was and it is so in your life right now. We come against sickness and disease. We come against every attack of the adversary. In the name of Jesus, we break the yoke of the oppressor. We activate the illumination and the revelation of who you are in Christ. And it is so. It is so. It is so. We want you. To, oh my God, it is. What? Glory to God. It is so right now. Oh, feel it. Oh, my God. Thank you. Lord, thank you for the. Oh, thank you. We thank you. We see. Oh, God, I feel this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It is so in the name of Jesus. We pray God's blessing over this segment. We want you to have a blessed weekend. We want you to have a blessed time in the Holy Ghost. Share these videos with other people. And also those that are listening for the first time, go ahead and subscribe and, and hit the bell icon that you can be alerted to these things. We declare God's ridiculous, hilarious, roll upon the ground, laughable favor in your life in Jesus' name. You are covered with favor as with a shield according to Psalms 5, verse 12. We pray God's blessing over you in Jesus' name. Have some fun in the Holy Ghost. We'll be talking to you again real soon. Hallelujah.